Hey, everybody! Last word, Outrider here, bringing you Data Slate, a Fikio Assassinorum. Yes, I know you've been waiting for it. The Assassins are now in back in the game, and we're all excited about it. It's the same ones that we've always known and loved, and we always know that they can add the extra POW to our armies. So... What are we going to do with these guys? Hmm? How do they arrange them? First, assassins are no longer characters that you can buy in your army. That's correct. You no longer just add them to your army. Instead, you buy them as a detachment. A completely separate detachment that consists of one model. An assassin. Uh, the assassin is considered, obviously, armies of the Imperium, so you can consider that when you're doing allies. And Hey, wake the fuck up! Okay, so, it's an assassin, it's uh, only one unit in the model, however, if that sounds too limiting, they do throw some goodness your way by giving you what's called... An execution squad, or execution force, I think, is what it is. Um, and the execution force basically allows you to take all of the assassins as one formation. All four of them. Galexis, Vindicar, Everseer. Um, who, am I, who am I forgetting? Galexis, Vindigar, Everseer. They're messing with me now. Blah! Well, anyways, you can take one of each uh, as one formation. There is... Oh, Calidus. Sorry, no wonder I couldn't remember it. So, here's the fluff for it. Agents of Aficio Assassinorum are a deadly scapel deployed when the sledgehammer of the Imperium's army is too blunt and unsuitable a weapon. These masters of the art of death are perhaps the most proficient in the entire human race, unleashed only on the direct sanction of the lords of Terra themselves. Woo-hoo! Right? Um, their influence extends from the coldest reaches of the Halo Zone to the dark heart of the Eye of Terror itself. Which is interesting, because if you listen to that, they're saying they've actually sent assassins into the Eye of Terror. They're not scared of sending them in there, which is kind of cool. Uh, hopefully they're going to come up with a story like that in the future. I'd like to see that, but we'll see later. So what else? Yet there have been those times in history when even the assignment of an Imperial assassin was deemed inadequate for the kill in question. At such times... The High Lords of Terror come together, rub their little tiny grain cells together, and came up with a thought. How about we send one of each assassin together? As a team. Woo. Yeah, basically, that's what it's saying, but I'll, I'll tell you how they say it. <clears throat> the High Lords of Terror have ordered the dispatch of an execution force. A number of assassins working in concert, where a single operative may find his kills wanting in the final reckoning, the combined lethal repertoires of the major temples will be more than sufficient to exterminate the foe. I like my way of saying it better. Anyways, to send forth an execution force is to deploy such a precise and specialist weapon that their replacement, should they be lost, would take decades. Which, they make that sound bad, but every space marine takes decades. So, I don't know how, why that's supposed to be so scary. As a result, these forces are assembled only rarely, and only when the future of an entire sector or even the Imperium itself, hangs in the balance. It consists of one of each assassin, 
Um, it has several special rules. The first one being preferred enemy, the other person's warlord, and operation assassinate. If the if the mission you're playing uses victory points, you receive one bonus victory point at the end of the game if the enemy's warlord was removed as a casualty as a result of a wound inflicted by a model with this special rule. Yes, that is actually the way they worded it. Not me. Don't ask me. I didn't do it. I think they're, they're getting really, really paranoid about beardy players out there it's playing with the rules, trying to make those cheesy armies. This is for you. This is for you. Um, next, I'm going to go into the rules on all of the assassins. A little side note here. When I read uh, the uh, Execution Force uh, Assassin book, and they had the two new assassins. Was it the assassin book? One of the books which had the two new assassins in it. One was the um, the cyber assassin, Infosite, I think they called him, and the other one was the was the poison assassin. I had hopes. I had hopes that finally uh, the some of the minor temples, I guess they were, but they didn't re represent them as minor temples, would finally be brought into the game. And when I saw the data slate, I thought, cool, they'll be in it. But I flipped open and nope, same is still four. But when I read the rules to you of what they've done to these guys, scary shit, people. Very, very scary stuff. Very scary stuff. Yeah, you like it. I'll like it too. But... Watch it next time, and you will see what they have done with the assassins. Until then, bye! Bye-bye.